<laughs> What's the unboxing? What it be? I don't know. Shut up and see. Hello, book lovers. I'm back at it with another unboxing, and this one's for Bloodstained Wonderland from Earthling Publications, plus a bonus. Um, at least that's how I'm going to write the title when I post this when I'm done. Let's get at it, since you're not here to hear this. You're here to see this. So am I. La -da -dee, la -da -da. It's a lot of tape. Paul Miller does a good job when he packs. Boop. Let me get this. Oh. Oh. This is magic. All right. So we're going to get this out of here. And get right to it, my friends. First up. Bloodstained Wonderland. This is a um, this is a story that takes a new twist on Alice in Wonderland. Obviously, it dumps blood all over it. Um, it's uh, I'm not really 100% sure on what is going to wait for me in here. I know that vampires are involved. It's during Nazi Germany's Blitzkrieg on London. It involves Wonderland. Obviously, that looks like the Queen of Hearts. And then, you know, like I said, vampires. Um, Woohoo! Art by Glenn Chadbourne. Signed, this is number 100 out of 500. Really, um, really cool book. I've been waiting for this for a while. I actually ordered this before I got Goblin. Um, in the meantime, Goblin came out and I gobbled up Goblin. And now I got this. And the Earthling's on a roll, in my opinion check it out there's still copies available very reasonable price limited edition but the bonus is uh, almost even more exciting um, when I was um, looking at Bloodstained Wonderland I saw they also had a um, this is a sequel the first book was called Bloodstained Oz and um, Bloodstained Oz came out in 2006 you can't find it it's sold out everywhere well uh, like two years ago um, um, Earthling Publications did a, a special 100 print run for some Merrimack Book Festival where they did Bloodstained Oz. So it came out again in paperback, but even those are impossible to find. Well, Paul Miller on the Facebook page for Earthling Pub was talking about how he had a couple of copies of uh, Bloodstained Oz sitting around. He'd be happy to sell them for a reasonable fee. And I jumped all over that because I missed out when it first came out. So here is Bloodstained Oz, a brand new, um, never before read edition. This one was published for that Merrimack Book Festival. And I am just floored. It was really generous of him to just sell me a copy for 40 bucks when he knew damn well you couldn't touch this book probably for less than 300. I've seen a couple copies on eBay and I know Abe's books might have had some, but it's very pricey. So. I was so happy I'm getting this book and the follow-up Bloodstained Wonderland and um, to my understanding there's gonna be a third book in this series called Bloodstained Neverland so I'm thrilled I have totally lucked out I'm so happy um, but you can get a copy of Bloodstained Wonderland right now brand new signed numbered um, on earthlingpub.com I recommend you do um, I can't wait to read these. I'll probably do a book review because, uh, you know, I'm sure you want to know what it's like. But I'd buy a copy before it sells out because they're kind of, uh, kind of hot items. So anyway, just want to share it with you and uh, keep reading. And uh, yeah.